Y'all, this is Vic. Hey, uh, welcome to my channel. I appreciate y'all stopping in. Uh, just gonna go through uh, an estate sale I went through on Saturday before uh, I went to tear down a barn on the Sunday. So, picked up this uh, bluegrass 100 foot tape. Pretty decent shape. It's hard to go wrong with bluegrass. I think I gave two dollars for it. We ended up on the half day or half off day uh, for the state sales we went to. Uh, there's a little leather bound Lufkin, metal tape. You can still read a little bit on it. So uh, I don't remember how much I paid for that. But uh, that's two of the tapes that I picked the up. Usual hammer head. Never seen one like that. It's got does have a chip out of it here. This was in a box uh, with the, some grease guns and stuff. I'll show you later, and some a lot of other stuff. Paid five dollars for the whole box, and then this head here was in it. So, uh, but uh, I thought that one to be pretty unusual. Not sure what that would be used for, or maybe y'all can help me out. Uh, Picked up this uh, little uh, little screwdriver set. It flips out, and, uh, and you know, I guess you get a pick whichever one you want here. Somehow it's got all these different flat blades, and uh, I thought it had a had a name on it, but oh, there we are. Musgrave Pencil Company Incorporated, Shelbyville, Tennessee. So it's probably some little handout advertisement piece they had handed out. So I thought that was pretty good for this little bundle here. I just like these little small yellow handle screwdrivers. Kind of like this one. And uh, so I stuck it here with it and uh, of course, uh, another advertisement uh, screwdriver. The very heart of saving is a good sense home. So uh, added that, and then a little, little Craftsman 9 16 box in, open in, uh, double line to v, uh, VA, 44696. So added that. That wrench up this uh, snap on 7 16 3 8 uh, This is a, a snap on 9 16 and 5 8 XS 1820 S USA 8. And then uh, came across these uh, Bonnie Econ 11 16 5 8 the ZE, I think it's 2022. And then Bonnie uh, Econ uh, 7 8 and 5 16 ZE 2830. So, uh, my buddy Restro Rob, a pair of uh, little scissors, little ornate scissors, little gardener scissors, I guess. Thought them were pretty cool. Found a couple of Ford wrenches in that box that was for five dollars. They're both exactly the same. I hit this one with the wire wheel a little bit, and uh, a one and a two. Little circle M Ford. I'm getting to where I see a lot of these. And then famous Ohio, my buddy Mr. James. Here's a uh, at uh, Time Flies in the Shop M625. And speaking of Mr. James, you know he's Mr. Grease. Uh, found this little looks like it's to be all brass little grease gun. This one, check out that one's got a cool handle on it. It looks like brass and some other kind of metal there, but brass ends. Told you, Mr. James, I was going to look out for him. 
and came across them. This one is a Lubricator Corporation. I'm not sure if they work or if they don't. And then two of the same here. And I think this, you have one similar to this is in your last haul. I mean, you have a bunch, but uh, pick that up. And then that one. It's actually bigger than, than that one. So uh, maybe two different top ends. I don't know anything about them other than they're nasty. And, uh, but the little brass one and the one with the ornate handle, I really do like. I'm tearing everything apart. But that one, the brass one, I do like. So, uh, might clean it up good. I guess you, I could add whatever end I need on it. Uh, so, uh, anyways, it's weird that, uh, me and him were just talking about it, and then I run out and found some. So, uh, pick these things up. I don't know what they are. Hoping somebody can help me with. They may come in handy for something, but I only picked up a handful. I think there's a few more in the other bucket, but they look like caps to something. But I'm not really sure. Maybe y'all, y'all can help me out with those. So, uh, then this old display, Bendex, Stromberg. It doesn't have anything in it other than some velcro it looks like uh, needle and seat set so it held something but might be able to use that for something I just like the box and it's 50 cents so uh, and half day off remember that <laughs> so little hobby knives they always come in handy uh, just a box of uh, hooks Little brass hooks and keys. So, and then a cool little twinkle copper cleaner box, and it's got some brass nuts in it. And then a whole bunch of tap extractors in the box. Like I said, I've got all this. This ended up being in the pile, and it was like five bucks. So, uh, I mean, a whole bunch of different ones. Greenfield, hand taps, Frat and Whitney, Greenfield, little thing of razor blades. Uh, just, a, just a whole assortment of taps. So, that's a, that's a, uh, 124.20, so that's a that's a good one. So we got just that container there of all of those. These Walton Tap Extractor. Good thing it come with instructions because I've never seen one. So I'm not sure how they work. But I've got one or two boxes of them, so if I ever figure it out, I can break a few. <laughs> so, so we got those. Like I said, I'm gonna make it. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can. Got me a couple of scrapers. Not sure what this one here was. I like these little wood handle scrapers. Then this one's a Red Devil. Number zero, zero I believe, is what it is. A little scraper. Uh, picked up a couple of slip joint pliers. A little thin profile ones you know the last haul I had I had the, the bent kind and these are the thin kind so uh, I hit these with the wire wheel hoping to be able to read the name and boy the stamp you can tell they, they must have been made for some kid or linesman or my phone company or something because it's not very good quality there but they're exactly the same this has INDS it's either bail or belt uh, either FGHPA or FBHPA. So, uh, but they got nice little knurling handles with the little thin ones. I had, uh, first, first ones I've came across for those. Uh, this old wrench right here has USA 
OIA 17017B M35. I thought that would make a good door handle. So I think that would be pretty cool. And then just some machinery tools. 3Z646. I, they were in that, that pile of $5 mess. So that. Half day off. We have $250 for this Craftsman. Little uh, pry bar. It's a crash double line with a it says G. I didn't realize the double lines had a G. Thought G were like newer from the 90s. Y'all, y'all tell me. And then this uh, Craftsman double line S uh, 358, I guess. Little punch type thing. So that adds to my little craftsman collection that I've got. Here's a part of the little in that little five dollar pile of junk. So whatever them are worth. And then some uh four twenties in the pack. They've been used, they need to be cleaned up. This might make a nice little project video, but they're nice. They, I mean I'm not sure if they've been used much, but uh Little 420s in the pack. So that's uh, like Tom Gunn. They're just not as pretty as he is. <laughs> so, uh, so I like that when it's in the package like that. And this uh, little, this is a Miller's Fall 108 brace attachment for uh, for angles. So that's pretty cool. And it is Japan co uh, Japan finished. And a uh, little oil spot there for it. It, it uh, let me see right in there. So it turns, turns and works. I may do a do a video on this, possibly, and uh, and clean this thing up. It's pretty cool, Miller's Falls. And then another Miller's Falls item, which I think is is pretty cool. Is this hacksaw? Now, I'm not a big hacksaw guy. It's a Miller's Falls number 84. It says Greenfield Mass. Miller's Falls. I don't know if y'all can read that. But then what I liked, it had shop in it. Ain't that pretty cool? But that handle, look at that handle. It does have a bad spot in it here. Like it got hot close to the heater or something. Or maybe it was in the shop. Uh, Maybe the agriculture shop or something at a school and the boys out there smoking or something and <laughs> They put their cigarette down or something. <laughs> Anyways that I think that we might figure out something on that, but it does have a little bend in it But I think we can straighten it out, but I thought that was pretty cool Miller's Falls hacksaw And then the prize believe it or not my wife this was in the $5 box, but she found it Is this little deal here? Ain't that cool? I mean, that's real nice. I ain't figured out how you get the how you gonna get the blade out. I don't think that's the right blade for it. I don't know if it's missing something up here, or if it just slips through. I'm not sure. So uh, maybe y'all can tell me more. But it is cool. And uh, like I said, but she can find some stuff. And then. Uh, Pick me up another uh, nail apron, Moore's bulk, or Moore, Moore's, <laughs> Moore's building supplies with a little fox on it. So I don't know why I started picking these up, but I've gotten like three or four now, I guess. Uh, just something else to look for. Polytech twine, a couple of leather pouches, real soft. I'm getting them all dirty. A couple of nice uh, spray bottles, and then of course something Scout Cat is going to appreciate. I added another, another little whisk broom to my collection, but he'll appreciate this probably more than anybody. Check out that rubber made houseware. The Woodster Builder Rubber Company, and it's rubber coated. 
in uh, I think that's Worcester, Ohio. So uh, Mr. James will appreciate it as well. But that is a nice dustpan. As far as dustpans go, I mean the edge is where it's usually no good here. We we still smooth down. Ain't that nice? So that's pretty cool. Fifty cents for that. There was one more wrench, so and a super wrench. So we'll quit on that one. Eleven thirty seconds. Or well, I guess the number is eleven thirty-two. Half inch. A little super wrench. Anyways, hey, I hope y'all had a good time uh, picking over the weekend. And that's what I got. I did get some more chemicals and, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I think we all get those. Hey, thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all, and I hope y'all all have a good one. Thank you.